Hi. Today is National Endangered Species Day. And I was like, well, I wonder what animals are on the endangered species list. And I started kind of like perusing through the list. Got really sad. It's kind of weird to be like, what's my favorite animal that's on the endangered list? Because the truth is, I want them all to survive. The lovable giant panda, or face only a mother can love. The Chinese giant salamander. I mean, come on. I just kind of want to scratch his little chin. I bet he bites though. <laughs> but when I came across the Galapagos penguin, my heart just like hurt a lot. They are the only penguins that are found north of the equator in the Galapagos Islands and Ecuador in general. There's only 2,000 of them left in the wild. Now, if you're thinking that they got themselves in trouble because they're penguins and they need to be in the cold, no, no, no. See, they're actually pretty smart. Um, they were like, we don't want to be down here in Antarctica being eaten by lion seals and orcas. We're just going to head north. And ooh, Galapagos Islands are really nice. And oh, there's this really nice cold water channel in the Humboldt and Cromwell currents. So we're going to hang out here, enjoy some fun in the sun. And uh, when we need to cool off, we'll just go jump in those currents and have some fun. But if you would love to see these little devils, which is why I am basing today's travel inspiration on the Galapagos Islands. Now, this area is huge for ecotourism. Ecuador actually limits the number of people that can go to the Galapagos Islands at any given time. Also, they don't allow large ships coming in, uh, so there's no gigantic cruise ships or anything. So they're really focused on protecting the islands and the very unique wildlife that is there. There is a lodge called the Picaya Lodge. This is billed as a luxury eco-adventure. It is a stunning hotel from which you can see plenty of wildlife, forests, beaches, but also they take you on tours to see the island. So it actually sits on Ecuador's coast and then you go to the Galapagos Island by boat. So let's all uh, keep those Galapagos penguins in our hearts and enjoy your travel inspiration to the Galapagos Islands.